a bullying old dog ranting in grand community a bullying old dog ranting in grand community over what who do you think you can deceive whom do you think you can put in your pocket or in your armpit whom do you think you can come out to grand community to manipulate in all of your evil deeds you think no one is aware you lie to everybody you scandalize everybody you are the only righteous person in grand community you are the only one that is doing right others are criminals others are nonsensical entity where you are a reverend deceiving others insulting others when will you be tired of coming to grand community making voice note of trying to manipulate nigerians it is those who don't know you that i pity it is those who are being cut off by your charms that i pity well as for me and my followers and the followers of Tiobat global foundation they can never fall into your traps because you beg professor theophilus you call all manner of people to beg professor theophilus and he refused to accept you back professor theophilus has become a criminal in your eye every day by day if you do your voice note and you don't call professor theophilus or call new man you will not be satisfied because you remember i said something in one of my vn i said the day any of you will do voice note and don't call professor theophilus or call new man that day you will die that is what i said so our name you cannot survive without it in grand community you must call professor theophilus or Lodge ebony either for good or for bad you must call ambassador dr newman either for good or bad I don't know why you always justify yourself in every cases. Whenever you come out to do your voice note, you scandalize other people, you rubbish people, you paint others black and you paint yourself white. You are the only good person. You don't see anything wrong with anything that you are doing. And you know how to lie. You know how to fabricate lies. You, 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 you know how to plan it and manipulate it and coin it and present it before people. Because you know there are gullible ones that will believe you. Gone are the days when you think you have monopoly of people in grand community. Gone are the days when you think you have monopoly of everything in grand community. People's eyes are now widely opened. They have known the bad from the good. They know they are left from the right. You can no longer deceive anybody with your jargon. You cannot deceive anybody anymore, not in grand community. And let me tell you, keep on with this, your evil deeds. You have plot evil against me severally. You have gone to your village in Kogi to do all manner of concussion. You have done everything humanly possible against Professor Theophilus, you didn't succeed. You did the same thing against Ambassador Dr. Newman, you didn't succeed. You have done all manner. You have brought so many people down. But you see, where Prof is and myself, you cannot bring us down. Because you are not bigger than God. You are not bigger than God. Continue and be enjoying your lies. Continue. Continue in your evil deeds. You say you are a pastor, a man of God, but you compromise so much, but you are not looking your own way. I, Ambassador Dr. Newman, can never compromise my stand. Where I remain, I remain with Prof until he disperses. And nothing, nothing, no one can say that will make me to turn my back on Professor Theophilus Oloche Ebony. I am coming out this way like this. Many people may not know why Dr. Newman is coming out in this manner this lovely day, 14th of June 2024. 
distinguished ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Ambassador Peters, aka New Man, the National Ambassador of Theobad Global Foundation. I want to encourage us, the followers of Theobad, the supporters of Theobad and Newman Worldwide Foundation. There is a ranting dog outside presently in Grand Community that have deceived Nigerians, that have insulted Professor Theophilus, insulted all manner of people. I am not concerning myself with other people that he has insulted, but to insult Professor Theophilus every day by day, and that is why I'm coming out. You have been begging Prof to, to, to accept you back. Professor Theophilus refused. You have got all manner of people pleading to plead with Prof so that you can come back to Theobat. If you know that there is no money in Theobat, then why are you still looking back to Theobat? And every day by day that you wanted to come back to Theobat, the opportunity is not being given to you. You are angry. The next thing you will pick your phone and do your useless voice note and come to the grand community, coming to the grand community and be, and be making all manner of noise. Whom do you think you will deceive? Old fool. Who will you deceive? There is no grant anywhere that you have. You don't have grant anywhere. You are accusing Prof and the others that they don't have grant. You say you are the Messiah that will take them to their promised land. With what? With what? What do you have? Nigerians, open your ear and listen very well. Shine your eye. I want you to be very, very active now and be proactive in whatever you are doing. Whoever that is coming to tell you in grand community that Professor Theophilus doesn't have grant, that he is the one that have grant, he is the one that is your Messiah, that person is a typical liar from the pit of hell. I cannot glorify people that I know I have criticized in one way or the other. People that I have known, I have used my mouth to insult them. And now I am going, going back to my, to, my, to my vomit because I want to perpetrate evil and I want these people to be on my side. So now I am glorifying the devil because I want to dine with the devil. God forbid. I, Ambassador Newman, can never do that. I will never, never do that. I will never. The people you, 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 you consider as criminal are now sent before you because you want them to dine with you, to perpetrate your evil, to support you, to, to achieve your agenda of coming to deceive Nigerians again in grand community. You say Professor Theophilus Oloche upon you does not have grant. Why are you still taking Panadol for another person's sickness? Old man, why can't you rest? You are a jobless individual. Why can't you rest? As a man of God, are you not supposed to be studying your Bible? Are you not supposed to be evangelizing? Are you not supposed to gather the children of God and preach the word of God to them? Are you not supposed to be a saint in grand community? Are you not supposed to uphold the, the, the gospel of Christ in grand community? But see what you are doing to yourself. You are a disgrace and insult to the personality of Christians in Christendom. You are a disgrace to your generation. You are a disgrace to your family. Since I have ever met you in grand community, everything you vomit from your mouth are lies. All lies. Because Professor Theophilus Oloche Eboni refused to accept you and refused to dance to your tune. Today, he's a criminal in your eyes. Today, is this. Tomorrow, is that. Even including that useless Man that call himself Prophet, uh, uh, prophet uh, uh, Titus and Lisa Ben, they will pay for whatever damages they have done to Professor Theophilus. Up to now, the 16 million naira they took, what did they take the money for? They claim they want to help. Were they able to help? They don't know road anywhere in Grand Community. And because after they have fabricated all manner and went and forged a document for Prof to sign, and Prof refused to sign it. Money that is meant for the masses. They want to sign it so that Prof will credit the account. And Prof refused. After studying the nitty gritty of that document, he said, no, he cannot sign it. That is where Prof has offended them. They have scammed everybody. They went and lie against me everywhere. I am aware. They lie against everybody that is following Professor Theophilus. Those are the people working with this old fool. Working with some UAAG people. To come against Professor Theophilus, 
Because Prof refused to do what they wanted. Now, Prof is their enemy. New man is now their enemy. You people will die one after another. You see the evil. You are cooking another person against another person. The pit you are digging. God, the anger of God will kill all of you one after another. You will come out and talk like a saint. Man, where you are the evil. You are the devil in grand community. Who are you? Old fool. A useless non-entity. You think you can gamble everybody? You think you can deceive everybody? Your nyash has already opened in grand community. There is nothing you will say now that anybody will believe you. Nothing you will tell anybody. And that is why most times you will go to your witchcraft govern, your babala will to collect power so that when you talk, everybody will follow you. Not anymore. You see this grand community, now God, get time. Now God, get time. You're not going to succeed for your evil agenda. You're not going to succeed. You see, Tioba people, they will never follow you because they know that Prof has the money and they know they have wasted enough time. They will wait and get their disbursement. The process that Professor Theophilus has followed till today, no grand handler, no grand handler in Nigeria will succeed in following that, that process and not giving up. Why did uh, Donald of Sam run away? Have you asked your questions? Why did Donald run away? Is it that Donald did not have grant? He has grant to give. But were he able to deliver? No, because he cannot be able to withstand the pressure that Professor Theophilus is withstanding. The kind of pressure that Prof has overcome. He can never, and you are here telling Nigerians who can tell story, nonsense, useless man that is supposed to preach the gospel. You are here wasting your useless time in grand community deceiving people. As far as I am alive by the grace of God, I will not watch you with my people deceiving people the more. Enough is enough and continue the day you stop talking about Professor Theophilus and new men, that is the day you will die for the rest of your life. And let me tell you also, any day that you fail to talk about new man and Professor Theophilus, that is when your uselessness started. I'm telling you, any day you fail to call our name in your, in your voice note, your uselessness starts that day. So for you to remain relevant in grand community, you have to call Professor Theophilus or your name. You have to call Dr. Ambassador Newman name. You are criticizing others and you will leave yourself. You think they don't know your antecedent? Your antecedent in UBA? I mean in ABU? You think they don't know? They don't know anything about you in grand community? In your church? Right from Jukwe here? You think they don't know you? When you are talking, be careful. When you are criticizing other people, be careful. Because you are not better than others. You see me, I don't spoil people. Old man, let me tell you. New man doesn't spoil people. I know they look for trouble. If you not find my trouble, I'm not going to talk about you. I know they look for trouble. But if you look for my trouble, you will battle it with God. That is why you see that every plan, when you plan, no work. You don't plan to harm me several times work. You don't work now. You don't go work. Because you eat my food. You have drank my water. You have handled my money. So anything where you plan against new man can never work. I leave you to your God, but be careful. If you want to live long on earth, be careful the way you talk. Nobody has monopoly of knowledge. Nobody has monopoly of grand community. Nobody has monopoly of criticism. Be careful the way you talk because there is a supreme being over there who is God. God Almighty is the supreme being. Nobody sees you. But he see you and he know you that you know yourself. Be careful because what you say will be used against you later in this life. Ladies and gentlemen in grand community, everyone under the sound of my voice, nobody can disrupt the disbursement of Theobat Grant. It doesn't matter what you are facing now. It doesn't matter what is going on now. It doesn't matter the bitter experiences you are having. It doesn't matter how your story is pathetic. It doesn't matter what the devil is saying to discourage you. I want to assure you one thing. Weeping may last for a night, but joy shall come in the morning. Weeping will last but just in the night, but joy will come in the morning. Relax and have faith in God. 
the Egyptian you see today, you will see them no more. There is a good news that is coming, and that good news will change your story for life. You will never have a trace of all the poverty experience that you have ever had in your life. It doesn't matter the insult they are giving you in your neighborhood. It doesn't matter the insult. People castigating you, then casting you, deserted you, ran away from you. Some of you, your home have been broken. Your wife left you. Some of you, you left your wife because of one hardship or the other. Just relax. The end for everything is here and God will do it for us. When the devil see that your blessing is coming, you will always come with negative suggestion, negative plans to pull you down and shift you away from your blessing. Don't allow that devil in grand community to confuse you. Don't allow him to confuse you. Rise up and fight whoever that want to discourage you from your blessing. Rise up against anybody that is attacking Professor Theophilus. Rise up against anybody that is attacking your blessing. That person is your permanent enemy, except they don't do you from your fatherland. God bless you. This is Dr. Ambassador New Man. Thank you all.